truck fill up. Yeah. Probably best they don't move that. I'll put some air in it. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. I just gotta say you guys are awesome. So first day of having merchandise up for sale, had like 70 plus orders, which is wild. Keep in mind, the merch is coming to me and then I'm shipping it out. I wanted to do the pre-sale and throw it up because it's no point in waiting and waiting and waiting, um, throwing it up and then running out of stuff, at least now. I have a general idea of, hey, I need more of this, I need more of that. I did order, I don't know, 300 shirts, 150 hats, stuff like that. So that was on the first orders, but we'll put a second one in, get it rolling. That way we always have stuff in stock going into the future. That That's where I want to be. Um, a lot of people said, hey, do you have larger size shirts? Currently, no, but I'm going to put another order in. So if you drop it in the comments, uh, or reach right out to me, go on to the page. You can write it in the comments on duffyag.com. Well, alrighty, enough of that. I'm just amazed that you guys, you guys are awesome. So we're gonna dive into today. Got hydraulic lines to do, nothing too crazy. I'll get some help since we gotta pull the one down and into here. And then, uh, yeah, we gotta dive back into the cedar. I got a hydraulic motor, the coupler's supposed to come. We've been hauling manure with the tankers. Hopefully it dries out the next few days and I can get this in some fields. Uh, yeah, lot to do. So appreciate you guys watching along, liking, subscribing, being all part of the channel and buying merch. Really appreciate that. So everything on the merch side, I'm just gonna reinvest it into more projects for the channel. So you guys are awesome. But alrighty, let's dive into today. Not really a big fan of heights, but got to do what you got to do. Granted, this isn't that high, but if you fell off, I'd probably hit my head on something or whatnot. But got two lines here. One goes from this point here up towards the front and down into the control box. They did like put short pieces in, so I guess I don't know what the thought process. Is. I thought about running a whole brand new line, but the rest of the lines look all good, so. It was just these two headache lines, but this one controls the pivot of this in and out, and that one controls the spread nurse function of the guillotine valve or the rotate valve, I guess it would be. So, Yeah, hook some ends together, nice and easy. Easy enough. This thing definitely needs a bath, so you can see all the oil from the dump trailer from the leak in the cylinder or when it blew the hydraulic line on it. So, yeah, that all needs a bath. We gotta grease that up. We gotta grease the drive line, um, blue air filter, needs a little bit of coolant. Oil's good. Got the cab cleaned up. So that's the worst thing about corn. You ride around with the windows open and it just slowly builds up. I guess I should have showed you before. But we are clean now. There's all sorts of junk. So I'll go ahead and grease that. My power steering slowly leaks out. And uh, this line right here, well, you can see it's split. So we'll drain this down, power steering reservoir. And uh, then we'll get that line, which isn't too bad, and throw that on. And then this thing will be ready to go haul manure. So trailer just needs some tire jet and uh, one tire. I do got a box of it. I hope I remember where it is. 
since they did come in here the farm and there it is and just piled stuff in boxes that shouldn't I found all sorts of my stuff everywhere they're trying they're trying to keep it clean but at the same rate I almost lost these shim plates which you can't get new ones of them breaks for the um, red trailer which we got to do that so but I do got tire jet and uh, yeah we're gonna put this in one tire on the tra trailer I don't care about the tires or the rims really so that's always my concern the choppers starting to get a flat tire again too I filled it up we got to put a tube in that we're not <laughs> yeah we're not putting a tire jet in that um, as much as some people really like it I know one lonely farmer swears by it and everybody writes that in the comments but once I get this ready get it on the uh, tanker then we got to dive back into that so my couplings and my pump for the cedar all came in got them through Granger since let me explain what's going on here so they built a few models that were gas powered majority are hydraulic driven I had this pump I just was reading on it doesn't spin fast enough so this is a one inch shaft the ones that are hydraulically driven have an extra panel through the middle and they have the bearings there and then it bolts to here and the shaft downsizes to go on it it's like a three-quarter shaft or something seven eighths so that coupling that they have would not fit on this so uh, and then the pump had a smaller size too so we'd have to change that shaft which would then be shorter so on Granger let me get it out on Granger I got if I can get it out of there I got a one inch with keyway connector we got that and then we got a high revolution pump to go with it granted on the tractors we can change how much hydraulic flow goes in and out so we'll adjust it because let me show you guys on here on the blower or on the fan i guess it would be it tells you how much so we'll get it to the right level and then we'll just leave it at that with that uh, uh connection so that's the plan which means i gotta get hydraulic lines made for that or we gotta find some around here uh since it is friday hydraulic plates might not be open tomorrow i'm gonna ask them i'm gonna tell them i need two lines made tomorrow and see if they can hook me up with it yeah that will be our goal but all righty let me finish up greasing this so i can be done so we can run hydraulic place get that fitting yeah i could bring both and uh but i really don't know what length i want actually i do all righty we're probably gonna have them make those lines today that hose is off rest of the truck's good to go greased um Measured up the hoses. I'm going to have those made up while we're at it. Grab the pump. I did put it on. So what I'm doing here, we'll extend this out. We'll make a box out of it. And then the pump will sit over on this side. It should spin. So hopefully I got it figured out. We're going to go see the boys at JPM Hydraulic. Hello. And then we're going to go to Chelmsford, or I mean, well, Lowell Iron and Steel and see them and grab some steel. I uh, already told them what I needed. They said they'd have it ready. So, yeah. I'm excited for some manure hauling. It's always fun the first few days. And then after a few days, you're like, wow, this is horrible. Why would anybody want to do this? Well, yeah, as long as things go good, it's good. Ain't that, ain't that it, fireman? Nothing ever goes good, so... Nothing ever goes smooth all the time. That's what we you learn about this stuff. Change that line out. That was junk. I gotta get started. Turn so I can grease that one that I haven't been able to grease yet. And then this is ready to rock and roll. Put some fuel in it. I'll get to the trailer. Get the trailer done. Yeah. Trying out a new thing today. I'm gonna drop a video at some point. Well, we got new work boots. Yeah. But we're gonna see how these work out. So, if they work good, I'm going to tell you guys. 
they work bad, I'm gonna tell you guys. Imagine that. All part of it. So, I guess we don't need four chalk blocks either. I did leave that over there for a reason. I think like, there's a creeper over here now. So, I got four chalk blocks in here. Realistically, I do not need four chalk blocks. So. Yeah, this has worked out pretty good. Rattles a little bit, but plenty of space. As you see, I had four chalk blocks and everything else in there. Truck fill up. Yeah. Probably best they don't move that. I'll put some air in it, drain the air out, put tire jet in it, and hopefully that solves it. I know there's a little pinhole leak in the top of it, but yeah. These tires are awesome for a trailer. Especially because if you're new to the channel, these are the tires that I traded Bud, Bud Light for. So, worked out pretty good. Got it up on a block of wood. Easy to work on then. You can hear it right, right here. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that's the leak. It's like a pinhole little tiny leak, so. We'll see if this stuff works. <laughs> well, maybe we won't because we're at the very, very freaking top. Damn, I should have made it go forward more. All right, never mind, we're gonna pull it forward more. So I've never done this before. I had to look it up. You let all the air out, so you take your valve stem out. We're up on a block on the one tire, so. You don't have to worry about nothing. So I, I got two of these. I did go online. And well, compact tractor tires. Uses 15. Skid steer uses 10. So we're close to a compact. Well, rears are that. Fronts, probably close to a front, so 15. So I'm glad I got two of these, but just gonna get right to it I guess pump it in push it in yeah I guess so I need probably need two hands for this I'll get all this one in and then I've got another one and we'll see if that seals that leak so Yeah, it should. So sealants. Um, three three eighths inch in diameter in most tires. Used for minor tire dry rot on low speed vehicles. Less than ten miles an hour. Yeah. We're a high speed vehicle. Put both in there. So there's twenty ounces. Ooh, maybe not all of it, because a little bit at the bottom. 20 ounces of it's off-road formula. So I don't know. The on-road is for like tire pressure sensors and stuff like that. So it doesn't ruin it. So now you fill it back up. We got this little zip tie that holds that, but you need two hands. So we'll fill it back up and then drive it back and forth or rotate it says for like five minutes. And then it will seal everything. So we'll just go back and forth in the driveway for five minutes and call it good. See if that puncture hole stops leaking, which will be cool. I forget what I paid for those. You buy them on Amazon. It's the only place you can buy them, I guess. Or on their site. I don't remember. Amazon or their site. Uh, but, yeah, on like a tire, like those floater tires, I wouldn't use it on that because like, when the guy's got to patch stuff, I don't want to have it all on the inside and whatnot. And those tires are very expensive. But on these tires that are, are inexpensive and like if I really had a blowout on them, I'm going to just junk it. Get new ones. Find them on online, locally, Facebook Marketplace. So that's how it goes. But I'll fill this up. I'll take it off the block of wood and 
go back and forth and then I'll check back in. We'll see if that pinhole leak is sealed. My control box, I just popped it up. Some of you might know that this little bolt that's there, yeah, I could weld it. Would get, would get close enough in some spots and start destroying my tires. So this tire, it's not destroyed, but it's got lugs that got ripped on some. And it, it's still good for me. But just bumped it up. It was sitting down here on the bottom. So cut the cut it all out, gouged it out actually with the plasma cutter. Raised everything up, we'll weld it back in. Weld this side back in. And then uh, hopefully that gives us enough clearance that uh, we don't have any more issues there. So that's good. Um, I was gonna show you the tire, but I parked with it on the bottom or close to the bottom. So I figured I wouldn't move it for a little bit, let it, let the solution sit around where the pinhole leak was. But I'm gonna say we're we're in a good place. I am gonna have my brother come out because I'm gonna adjust the brakes on the trailer here. Um, I think they can be a little more aggressive. And it doesn't hurt to have more brakes, braking ability when you have 5,400 gallons of manure pushing you down the road. So. Manure is heavy. Manure is very heavy, so. I don't know if it's nine. It's not sand manure, so we're a little better than that. But I don't know if it's nine gal nine pounds per gallon. So, 50,000 pounds in the tanker. Yeah. Some of these guys that have seven, eight, 9,000 gallon tankers. Yeah. You might have a big horse in front of it to pull it, but... It's when a car pulls out in front of you and you can't stop that. That's the problem. I'll finish up well in this. We still got the cedar to get going. Where have you been? Yanko just came from down the hill, so he was off doing adventures. Got the brakes all done now. Now they're tight. Now it's mid. So I adjusted them all out. I did notice right here, the wet spot from where it starts dripping out tire, the tire jet, but there's nothing leaking. So I guess the true testament of time will be when tomorrow morning, if we gotta fill this tire up some more but we should be good so this should be all ready to rock and roll um we got hydraulic oil we raised that control box up truck's good new steering line all greased fluids all checked lights all work so we were having issues with the dump trailer and not having rear trailer lights and what i think it was that hydraulic leak all the hydraulic fl fluid was sitting around the, the connection and shorting everything out because this has all its lights and it all works, blinkers, brakes, everything. So the truck's good, so it had to do with the trailer. I'm thinking that or I got a ground issue somewhere, but the fact that it just, yeah, never flickered, never did nothing, and then they would come on randomly. I'm thinking that, but. Alrighty, this is all done. We'll pull it out back. Got the truck all set up ready to tanker yank we got plenty of manure to haul not much time to actually do it so hopefully well i know we dove into it so i've been hauling for the last two days so stay tuned got more you know farming stuff um messing up roads spreading manure stinking up the neighborhood dealing with people all that stuff so appreciate you guys watching liking subscribing Drop in comments, tell me what I'm doing right or wrong, or how your harvest is going, how your fall manure hauling is going. But truck's ready, and I love this setup. So 
Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.